Hi Year 9 and welcome to the options presentation for the P department. As you can see we offer two courses in the P department which are GCSEP and Level 2 BTEC Sport. Now at this point you should be aware that all students regardless of what options they choose will have one hour of compulsory core PE on their timetable next year. However the courses that I'm going to talk to you about today are optional courses that are in addition to the core lesson, therefore are for students that enjoy practical lessons and have a keen interest in sport, fitness or health and well-being. So I would like to stress that both options are practical options and most suited to students that want to be active and want to be involved in practical PE lessons. Now if that sounds like you, Either of the qualifications we offer could be a suitable option for you and a fantastic opportunity to achieve a qualification in a subject that you enjoy. It is also a good opportunity to develop a base of knowledge to prepare you for jobs or higher education in and around the sports industry if you know that is a career path that you want to pursue. And finally, if you are ambitious and hardworking, then GCSEP or BTEC Sport could be an option for you. Now in terms of a career path, there are lots of job, op job opportunities and advanced level courses that you can progress on to if you are successful on either of the courses. For example, the police force, the fire service and armed forces all look favourably towards people with sports qualifications and there is the possibility to move on to study Level 3 BTEC Sport or A Level P at college if you enjoy either of the Level 2 courses and you want to pursue those qualifications further. So firstly the GCSE PE course. It is a single option so will be found in one option column when you receive your options form. So in addition to your compulsory PE lesson you will have four additional hours of PE a fortnight it does vary, but usually we have two hours of practical lessons and two hours of theory lessons, and the qualification is worth one GCSE. Uh, it is graded A star to G, so it is a typical GCSE qualification. So in terms of assessment, the GCSE PE course is split into two key areas. Unit one is the written examination section, which involves a two-hour exam in the hall, and this will make up 50% of your final grade. The remaining 50% then comes from Unit 2, which is the Practical Assessment. Now within the Practical Assessment, you will be assessed in three sports. There is an element of choice in what three sports you will be assessed in, however, we will be doing a range of different activities throughout the two years of the course. You will be assessed in all of the activities and it is your best score that is put forward for moderation. However, one of the sports has to be a team sport one has to be an individual sport and the third activity can be either a team sport or an individual sport. So for example, you could do football, netball or rugby as your team sport, badminton or swimming as your individual sport and then the third activity could be anything that you are particularly good at. The final part of the practical assessment is that you are required to produce a personal exercise plan which I will explain in a bit more detail, detail later in the presentation. Now on the slide you will see a range of team sports that you can be assessed in. Some of the activities shown we will do in lessons and therefore can be assessed in school. However, there are some activities that we will obviously not be able to do in school. For example, one of the team activities is rowing. Now if you regularly attend a rowing club, you could be assessed in rowing. However, it is then your responsibility to gather your own video evidence that can be submitted to the examiner on moderation day. Again, there is an example of some of the individual sports that you can be assessed in. Again, we will cover some in school, but if there is anything outside of school that you regularly compete in, it would become your responsibility to get your video evidence together that can be submitted to the examiner on moderation day. For example, we have previously had students that provide video evidence for skiing and horse riding as their individual sport. Uh, but just something that we should be aware of 
uh, you can only be assessed in two off-site activities so the third activity would have to be something that you can be assessed in school that doesn't usually become an issue for anybody but we should be aware of it and finally there are some combinations of activities that you can't do for example you can't be assessed in rugby union and rugby league or swimming and personal survival as the activities are deemed to be too similar. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the final part of the practical assessment is that you are required to produce a piece of coursework, which is called the personal exercise plan. There are six sections to the personal exercise plan, which you can see on the screen. Essentially, the coursework involves us conducting a series of fitness tests to help you identify any weaknesses you may have. You then plan a training program that is designed to work on improving those areas of weakness. You are required to carry out the training program and monitor your progress and finally evaluate the effectiveness of the training program at the end. This training program is based around your major sport and as mentioned earlier contributes towards the final practical mark which then makes up 50% of your overall mark. The other 50% of your final grade, as mentioned earlier in the presentation, comes from the theory exam and on the slide you can see some of the topics that we look at as part of the course. So we will look at the effects of exercise on health and fitness, which involves looking at training methods, fitness components, fitness testing, etc. We will cover a topic called exercise physiology, where we look at the different body systems, including the muscular system, cardiovascular system, and the effects exercise have on those body systems. We will do some work around movement analysis and look at topics such as planes of movement. We will cover a topic that looks at the psychology of sport and how various psychological factors can affect sports performance. And finally, a topic called socio-cultural issues within sport, where we look at the effects of professionalism and commercialization of sport and the, and the effects of performance enhancing drugs within sport. So there are a wide range of topics that are really interesting topics that are all relevant to fitness, sport and well-being. So now I'm going to move on to the second course that we offer, which is Level 2 BTEC Sport. The course we follow is the Level 2 Certificate in Leadership Through Sport. Again, this is a single option that you will study for four additional hours uh, in addition to your compulsory core PE lesson. Similarly to the GCSE PE course, in BTEC Sport, approximately 50% of your lessons will be practical. Now, BTEC subjects are coursework-based subjects that are continually assessed, so you would be required to complete three units of work, which involves completing a variety of written and practical tasks. As I mentioned, BTEC courses are coursework-based subjects. This particular BTEC course is 100% coursework assessed, which means there is no exam, which is really good for those students who don't like exams or don't perform particularly well in exams, but prefer completing coursework tasks and always get good marks in their coursework. So as I mentioned, you would be required to complete three units of work. The unit shown on the screen is a list of all of the units that are within the specification, but you would only need to complete three. Unit 1, Planning and Leading Sports Activities, is a mandatory unit, so we have to complete that unit. This unit is very much centred around developing your skills as a sports leader. So we investigate the qualities and attributes of a sports leader, and then it is very much a practical unit where we look to develop your coaching and leadership skills and put the qualities and attributes of a successful sports leader into action. So you would be required to plan and lead a session of your choice and then evaluate the session and identify areas in which you can improve. The remaining seven units listed on the screen are all optional units, so we have to do any two of the optional units. Traditionally, we have done unit two, injury and sport, where we look at the causes of a variety of sports injuries, how you would treat a sports injury and how they can be prevented. The final unit that we usually do is planning and running a sports event where, as the name suggests, you will be putting small teams and be responsible for planning and running your own sports event. 
which you may have seen previous BTEC students doing when they've come into your lesson and have done events such as football tournaments, dodgeball tournaments, and some have even organized charity events. But the emphasis is very much on you and your group taking ownership for your chosen event, and it is always a unit that the students really enjoy. Now, in terms of assessment of the BTEC sport course, all units are graded as a pass or fail, and you are required to pass all the assignments within each unit and successfully satisfy all of the grading criteria for each unit to achieve an overall pass. If you do that, then you will receive uh, a level two pass in level two BTEC sport, which is the equivalent of two C grades at GCSE level. So just to summarize, if you opt for either of the options, in addition to your core PE lesson, you would study sport for an additional four lessons a fortnight. Two of the lessons will be practical lessons. Two of the lessons will be theory-based. In GCSE PE, the practical assessment is worth 50% of your final mark. And remember, you would be assessed in three sports, a team sport, an individual sport, and any third activity. The remaining 50% of your final mark then comes from the theory exam, which is a two hour written examination on the topics covered in your theory lessons. The BTEC sport qualification is a 100% coursework assessment. It is graded as a pass or fail and is worth the equivalent of two GCSEs. So I would just like to take the opportunity to let you know that there is also an an additional qualification that students who opt for either of the sports courses will be able to access. The qualification is the Community Sports Leaders Award, which is a coaching qualification run by our 5 times 60 officer, Mr. Guy. This is an excellent qualification to have, especially for anyone who is thinking of a possible career in the sports industry in whatever capacity that may be. So to conclude the presentation, if you have a keen interest in sport and are considering a career in the sports industry, you should consider studying one of the sports courses. If you are not sure which course, then we will help and support you in that decision and ensure you are on the correct course that we feel lends itself best to your particular skill set and ultimately the course we feel you will be most successful studying. If you require any additional information or questions regarding the courses, please speak to your PE teachers or email me direct using the email address shown on the screen. Thank you for your time and good luck with your option choices.